question of Musicians Matters. It's going to be an awesome show for you tonight. We going all the way to Malaysia. Malaysia. It's going to be awesome. I have my special guest all the way from, from Malaysia, Stan Calvin. Stan, how are you Hello. doing today? I'm good doing today. Right? Hello. I'm so I'm so excited to be yeah to, you know I'm hearing my name for the first time and uh, yeah this is this is this is uh, this is a great day I'm doing good awesome 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 I'm, well we're just gonna just go in and we're gonna, just gonna talk about the music on tonight yes uh, sure let the people know a little bit about yourself my brother okay brother uh, well, hello everybody. My name is Stan Kelvin. Um, I'm a musician. Uh, I grew up in a music uh, family where uh, uh, where my position in music is. Uh, I'm a percussionist. I'm I'm a rhythm. I'm on the rhythm department, so I'm a percussionist and uh, and a drummer. And uh, I've been playing music for. So I, I started at a very early age, since I was five years old, and um, I'm still doing it until now. And uh, uh, it's a, it has been a great journey. Um, in 2010, I joined the Sultan family, and uh, I was very uh, fortunate to to make myself to the states. Uh, I met uh, I met our brother, our brother that is. Uh, our brother Roderick in uh, in Nam 2019. I met him in Anaheim Convention Center, and uh, and I'm lucky. And we've been keeping in touch, and we've been uh, talking, uh, we've been speaking a lot. Um, and uh, here I am today uh, for the second time. <laughs> we are we are we are having this 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 chat. This is very exciting. That's a short intro about me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So my brother, I noticed yes, um, when we was at Nam, when you was yeah. at, uh, on the on the kit, yeah, you were just so fast. What is your techniques on that kit? Okay, uh, well, uh, man, uh, I I wouldn't say fast. I I I think it is just uh, I'm uh, I mean, there's different cultures, there's different uh, experience, there's different. Um, you know, music experience that drives you or makes you what you are. So, uh, in Malaysia, well, we have these three different uh, race and ethnic. Well, we have the Indian, we have the Chinese, and we have the uh, Malay. Malay. So, there's a three race, uh, uh, you know, culture and race, whereby also the music um, approach is very strong from uh, from the three different cultures so i belong to the indian culture whereby um whereby my uh, the instrument that i start with when i when i when i uh, started my music journey was the uh, indian traditional instrument that they call it the tabla so tabla was uh, my first uh, instrument that uh, that uses your finger and uh you know to play and to to approach you you don't use a stick but you use your fingers to play on it so there's a uh, very complex and uh, detailed time signatures and uh, polyrhythms and uh, so well that was um that was the instrument that I started with until a uh, few years ago. I came, uh, I, I, I venture myself into modern drumming. So a lot of my drumming uh, approach and, um, you know, experience is coming from uh, the Indian uh, percussions, you know, the, the, the rhythm and the technique and the, and the flow. Yeah, that is, uh, that is about me, uh, Roderick. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, who inspired you to go in far, farther in your music movement? Well, uh, inspired me because I, I grew up in a musical family because that was basically our family business. My 
my father actually because uh, he was a musician and so when uh, when 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 we were there he wanted us to know uh, about it you know he, so we started in a young age as a hobby and uh, slowly we venture ourselves into it and uh, it was up to us to decide whether you know we really want to go for it you know take it as a career but uh, in my family i think i'm the only one who like took it to the next level like really make it to you know that i really want to do it as a as a career and go and follow my heart and uh, yeah that is how actually uh, yeah it was my it was my dad actually who inspired me to to play to play music awesome i can see mm-hmm. that because it really shows when you really play in the drums uh you 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 it shows in your face it shows in your your expression it show, shows in your movement on your, your yeah. body movement and it shows yeah. that you really really know what you're doing Man. so do you have any have anything to fall back on if you did, didn't have the drums or the music to fall on well uh if uh, strictly what i'm do, uh, i mean if to fall back well i okay this was a, a, a actually happened in in the history of 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 me as 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 a musician or as a individual so uh so well uh, music in my from uh, in my family approach was first to make the money because it was uh, it seems to be a good uh, way and quick way for you to make money but uh, in, in a very specific zone of you know it's a very specific uh, group of people so especially the indian music was uh, was very complex but in malaysia it was a very uh, it is a very niche market so if you are able to do something like really uh, good or different then you have a good market whereby we we became good in the sense of uh, exploring and venturing ourselves into uh, the more digital uh, uh, approach in indian music like uh, sequences and uh, and and programming and you know and stuff right. like that yeah so i know uh, that are you are you good with program programming Yeah, correct. Yes, programming. So I I started uh, sequencing and programming at a, uh, at <laughs> at an early age among uh I I think we were among the first uh the first batch of uh people who ventured into sequencing uh in Malaysia. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And so and far they, right now Do you have any sessions out there right now? Are you playing anywhere right now in Malaysia? Uh well, uh, of course, uh, we all uh, know uh, we all very uh, we all know know this very well where uh in 2020 early 2020 the pandemic hit us, you know? Right. The pandemic hit and uh everything uh, basically uh, crumbled down. and uh and uh and if if you know if i if i'm saying it about now well mm-hmm. i think i think about a month or two ago uh slowly the industry has been uh, lifted a little bit not fully up so uh now it has been a little bit better um um uh, so I mean uh, sorry I didn't get your question Rory I'm so sorry No you 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 uh, you answered it right mm. Are you thinking about going to Nam this year Man uh, you know I really wish I could do that because uh coming from Malaysia yes if if things are better if I'm able to save up to come to Nam man I would definitely love to you know it's a it's a it's a big eye opener for me uh to come and you know to 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 see the world in a different way to, to you know to meet great people definitely i would love to make my way up to nam you know nam if yes. actually change my you know it's a, it's a, it's eye opener for me yeah that's right that that makes sense yeah um yes how do you like to um hold your sticks when you play do you hold them like french way or do you hold them like 
Okay. How do you know your sticks in your hand? Right. On on grip uh, grip techniques. Well, I move. It is. Uh, it, it depends on what I play. Uh, depends right. on. Uh, uh, depends on uh, the the how many piece of uh, band that I have it or and and uh, that depends on the kind of and the type of music I play with. Uh, well, it differs uh, accordingly to you know whether it was it is my gig or whether I was called up to you know to jam or to do something or or I'm playing with a you know with a with with a big band or maybe it's a six piece band or eight piece band a mini big band or maybe I'm just playing with a trio yeah it depends uh, well mostly I'm using the standard grips but if I'm doing a lot of uh, swings and uh, and uh, you know sometimes uh, yeah uh, mostly on swings or any bebop or stuff and yes I go on the traditional grips awesome awesome what yeah. type of uh, what type of sticks do you um Use my brother. Do you use uh, nylon tips or do you use uh, wood tips? Uh, you know, brother, it, it is. It is. It, this is a good question. You know, actually, <laughs> I I I never have. Uh, um, this is so funny. I never had uh, a stick that I really put myself on because I think until now I'm still learning about the tips. It always differs and it always changes. And uh, nylon tips definitely is not. Uh, in my list, uh, but recently I tried this one uh, uh, Japanese signature uh, drummer steak by Wickford, but you know it it, it uh, that got a nylon tip, but it was a diamond shaped nylon tip. So it yeah, you know, diamond, yeah, yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. Yes, and I was like, wow, you know, I I it is not very bright because of the shape of. The diamond in front, there is a there's a there's there's a darker uh, approach on the bells and on the bow when I hit on the cymbals. So sticks, man. You know, currently I'm in love with with this. Yeah, right now I'm having this Amer- American History Future Pro. This is a kid's drumstick. It is short. It's really short. So I I, I use it on my on my left hand, and then on my right hand I I. I use a, a a longer stick, man. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow. So it is always there's, you know, it's not even a match uh, pair, but uh, but I I but I always use a, a a longer stick on my right hand, and I use a, a shorter stick on my left hand. Well, that's that's weird. That's, different. Yes. <laughs> that's really different. Yeah. Um, so you, do you ever uh, play? Have you ever played with um, um, uh, uh, two pairs of sticks in, in each hand, bro? I I have tried it just for fun, just for like show, and you know, just like to show off and stuff. But I don't really uh, do that because, uh, well, in uh, mostly the stuff that I do with drumming, I do a lot of hybrid drumming. So hybrid okay. drumming, I either I will go. With sticks and some of the songs, you know, I would be just playing with my bare hands, because I will have, hand, right. the, yeah, I'll have the tabla on my, on my left hand or my right hand side. So I'll be moving between sticks and you know with my fingers and stuff. So yeah. you're saying bare hands, so that that means the uh, cajun is, is, is you know know something about the cajun, right? Yes, of course. Well, uh, so I, tell us, tell tell everybody. Uh, uh, about that cahoon, I I got one right here. Matter of fact, I'm I'm looking at it right now. Tell them Man. so that uh, people don't know about it. You know, people that don't don't know about it. What the right. cahoon is? Okay, so cahoon is basically a a a box where it, you know, because of the shape of uh, of uh, of it, you know, it is a box where there's a. Uh, because of the shape, and you sit on it, and so it gives you basically a bass drum, and uh, because of hitting it on uh, on the right position, on different position, gives you a snappy feel on the sides, where there's a guitar string, or it's a snare wire that is attached to it, so you get a higher frequency, so you have a low frequency, and you get a on a, on a higher frequency on it, so uh, it is basically a replacement for a uh, a drum kit, 
you know, it's not a total replacement. It is, yeah, you know, somewhere, somehow, you know, for a easier uh, approach, easier gig, easier traveling, and, uh, you know, so... I just but, call it an accent. The accent? I call it, I use it as an accent on um, to my, my drums. So, like, actually, I have a seven-piece set right now. Wow. Um, we're getting ready to talk about drums right now. Um, I have a seven piece and I, I put it on the right side of my, my drums. So, so when um, I uh, play the drums, um, and if, say for instance, there's a slow song, I don't wow. um, start with just the bass. I would actually start with the cajon and cymbals. Damn. Well, this is something that, uh, this is something new for me. Yeah, I would start with the with the uh, I would start with the cajon and cymbals, and if, right. if it's like a, if it's uh, like you um, like if it's a, uh, like like your your rhythms, the Indian beats stuff like yeah. that, I would definitely start with the, the cajon. I would st- definitely start with the uh, the tums, like the the um, the bongos. Uh, the bongos, yeah. Understand. The congos. You like that, uh, that uh, sound the too? Congas, yeah. Yes. Um, what are you? What are your audio supplies from, Big Bro? Uh, well, uh, you mean uh, music? Uh, music supplies? Music supplies. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You know, uh, surprisingly, uh, Malaysia is. I mean, it's such a small country, but uh, surprisingly, uh, and I'm thankful that uh, musically, our the industry for our. Uh, Tourism is was uh, well. I think soon it's going to be back. Uh, you know, uh, we have a very strong uh, tourism uh, department in in this country. So right. I think music is one of uh, a very big uh, 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 industry that has bring a lot of good impact to the country. So there's a lot of festivals and uh, and uh, there is. Uh, more than 10 universities who's having music uh, course uh, and uh, graduates every year. And uh, a lot of good musicians have, 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 have been produced in this country. And uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of good music shops as well. So we have a lot of big brands with a variety of cymbals, you know, uh, it's not only on drums, you can say, but keyboards and, uh, you know, all the other in, uh, instruments that we have, you know that 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 is in uh, in the market. So uh, right. it is it is uh, it is a privilege. Uh, it's a it's a privilege to able to see uh, to see all uh, you know able to have your hands on good instruments uh, in uh, in Malaysia. So there's a lot of music shops like Bentley. They have a shop a big shop called Bentley Bentley Music. Then they have. Uh, JS Music, uh, and uh, they have CK Music. Where you know every music shop carries uh, different brands. Well, yeah, we have distributors for for DW drums. We have distributors for Sonor drums. You know, we have distributors for Zilligians. We have we have uh, distributors for Minel, for Sabians. We have distributors for Pasty. You know, from you know, from every instruments, man, we have Nord, we have, you name it, you have Yamaha, <laughs> you know, we have Rollins and everything, man. So, uh, music instruments, uh, the supplies here is pretty solid, yeah, in, in Malaysia. What type of uh, kit do you play on, bro? Uh, okay, uh, I, I currently, I'm using the, I'm using a Sono designer kit. Okay. Uh, uh, Sono designer kit, the maple light shell kit. Uh, I'm in love with it. It's a 20 inch on the cake, uh, 10 and 10, 12 and 14, floating on the on on the toms and uh, and uh, the one and only sold on symbols, man. I love the symbols and I'm using it in the studio. And uh, but I work with different brands as well, uh, uh, based on drums, you know. So my snare varies, you know. I got some pearls, I got some DWs, you know. I got some. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a bunch of them. <laughs> I got some tamas and stuff and everything. Yeah. So well, that means you got a lot of uh, equipment over there, huh? Yes, yes, man. 
Yes, uh, yes, Roderick. I, I love this instrument, and you know, I, you know, I'm so passionate about it. It's not only about buying. You know, I like to look at them, I like to clean them, I like to see them. You know, look good. You know, uh, exploring and venturing to different tunings, different heads, and you know, different mics. And uh, so, it's not only about playing live. Uh, you know, also in studio and recordings and stuff. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna take. Uh, 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 voice off of the music for a little bit. What type of food do you uh, eat over there, my brother? Man, brother? Okay, food. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. You know, this is the best part. You know, I really wish that you could you could uh, come over to Malaysia one day. Our food here is really, really mind blowing. Because as I say, we are we are from these three different ethnic group. You know, the Indian, the Chinese, and the Malay. So okay. uh, there's you know food here in in Malaysia. A lot of people have been here. A lot of people have visited this country. You know, uh, you know that's the one thing that you will really really miss. So mostly what we eat here is a lot of rice. A lot of rice, a lot of spices. We Malaysian, we love spices. You know, we love spices. Uh, at times, yes, we love sweet stuff as well. You know, so, so there is a combination of a lot of spices, uh, uh, sweet and sour, you know, and uh, very, very rich, uh, well, uh, rich food, uh, rich uh, taste, thing food. You know, and uh, noodles, so, of course, the Chinese eats a lot of noodles and stuff. So it's it's very different, you know. There's a lot of choices. It's like you're walking down the aisles, like, you, you know, you can just travel to different countries and see every kind of food. So that is what's happening in Malaysia. It's like a melting pot for, you know, it's very diverse and, you know, with full of varieties and choices and stuff. Yeah, man. Wow. So no raw meat now, right? Raw meat? Raw meat. You don't eat raw, raw meat? meat, do you? B- raw meat is like you don't eat how raw, like... raw meat, do you? No, no, I don't. <laughs> you do for real? No, 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 I don't. I don't. Raw meat. Raw meat. No. Okay, because some people like um, um, with the Ethiopians, uh, you know, the different other countries like that, they just... eat like the raw meat with um, a, a type of uh, anjeta. Uh, it's called bread. Okay. So what I'm trying to say, so basically you just eat just the rice and, and the, basically the spices and the meats, all that stuff, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, yep. what, what would you uh, like to give to the, the, the world? Because we're international now, right, bro? You, yeah, you, correct, you, bro. You, 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 you uh, um, a long ways from um, the, the United States. You're like yeah. a day ahead of us. What yeah, would you give? <laughs> <laughs> what would you give to the uh, the uh, the music community um, that's positive? You know? Right. You know. Um, well, thank, uh, yeah. This is a good question. You know, uh, I would never know because it was always things that we've been listening to, like, you know, like music, you know, from the 70s, from the 60s, only we've been listening. We haven't seen, I I haven't been, you know, America, to me, first of all, was uh, an eye-opener, especially when I went down uh, to States, you know, seeing the, seeing the the white boys and the black boys, I was amazed, you know, I was like, oh my God, I'm seeing this, in reality, you know, people are so humble, you know, right. uh, music music is such a language that, you know, there's no barrier, you know, uh, there's no, uh, there's no limit, you know, and, and it speaks, it speaks to me in a very great way. And especially when I was, uh, you know, when I, when I was in NAM, you know, seeing certain musicians and uh, seeing the, the, how, how it have brought us together. You know, it, it it is you know how how it can anoint you, not not only in um, you know it, it works. It's a it's a healer, man. In in every uh, parts and uh, partial of your life, you know, it 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 hits you in a you know it serves you in a daily basis in every moment. 
you know uh well even no sound no music is also music you know so that's true so, that is true yeah yeah so i when i came to america it was uh, it was a uh, opener for me and i was very amazed that country is so 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 developed and so established you know and it made me to know that you know uh, that there's a lot more to learn there's a lot more to 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 see you know and uh, it is such a beautiful language that it brings us all together you know now i'm talking to yeah. you based on yeah based on music man this is amazing is true yeah we are not true. trying to make a business deal here but look at this man. <laughs> Yeah, you can do it, bro. You can do it. You can do it. Do you have a favorite song, my, my brother? A favorite song? Yes, a favorite song. A favorite song. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, a favorite song. 50 ways to leave your lover. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 50 wow. ways to leave your lover. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that, my brother. Do you have yes. any quotes that you do, you do you have any favorite quotes? Uh quotes uh well this is what currently I'm uh, I'm using in my in my in my in my production I say um uh, less sound more sense. <laughs> wow. Wow. So what would that mean to me cuz I'm I'm in I'm um as an american so that's something different for me so i wouldn't understand that all right okay so you see uh, we are all uh, chasing for you know what is the fastest what is the loudest what is the fanciest you know uh, wow 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 look at that scale you know look at that you know but sometimes we just forget uh, that you know sometimes you just need to listen just put down your stick and just don't do don't do anything just listen to the vibration feel it you know that's true because we just have to listen rather than to talk you know just let it be yeah and uh that's true and silence is also music man <laughs> that's understandable so let me ask you a question um yeah how do you rest your mind off of a days of work okay yeah okay great okay this is good uh well apart from playing i i uh, funnily i like to do a lot of other stuff where i have a, a rental service company so i i do rental of backlines uh, sound system and then uh, well i do maintenance as well like you know servicing my stuff cleaning up and uh, and uh, fixing uh, refurbishing and then uh, well there's a, there's a lot of output from music that i do as well because you know that's how i the only way i can take my time off from my head and then uh, i can make my job uh, seems interesting uh, so i also do acoustic treatments like i offer that service to anybody who loves my drum room now <laughs> you know like hey awesome. i like what you do all right you know. <laughs> that's amazing that's yeah. amazing, that's amazing. <laughs> Do you have any own, do you, do you have any um music that you written before? Oh yes, uh recently, well recently because of the pandemic, the pandemic have pushed me to do stuff on my own. Uh so I just released a a, a few uh instrumentals that has been recorded and uh is live uh, recorded and uh I've put it on my SoundCloud on Stan Connections. So if you go to stand uh, connection as no where can where can um li- um um reach that at all right yeah on s t a n stand connections s t a n k o n n e x i o n s that is k o n n e x i o n s so stand connections s t a n k o n n e x i o n s there's uh, four songs instrumentals that i've released so with it you can just going to have a listen to it uh yes man <laughs> awesome awesome yes amazing amazing man do you have uh, uh any endorsement uh endorsement uh currently i've been uh, i i've been 
well, I've been with Soul Tone for the past uh, 12 years. Beautiful wow. symbols. <laughs> I think I think over 60 over symbols. Uh, you know, I, the other day I, I did an inventory and yeah, I got more than 60 over symbols now. And like, you know, so yeah, they are beautiful. Uh, I'm very happy with them. And uh, this, this symbols really last, man. And thank God for after like five to six years bashing the same symbols for over and over again, and they still sound the same. So, what is your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite uh, sound off of the Noah Noah uh, um, symbols? What's your favorite sound? What, what my, do you get? my 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 favorite is definitely the vintage old school. Wow, the vintage. Yeah, the vintage. Yeah, the vintage old school on the right. And uh -huh. then, uh, and then uh, definitely the 1964s on the crash. Wow. Uh, well, some of the definitely the FXOs, uh, the the FXO, but uh, 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 the explosions on the hats. I think those are. I'm trying to drill a hole because I want to make it a bit lighter. I think this could happen soon. But yeah, Amazing. very beautiful chick and chip and yeah. That's it. And, yeah, uh, mine is. Um, I, your brother started with uh, the Noah set, and then I went with the Noah set, and then um, from the Noah, the extreme. Oh, the extreme! Heavy. Yes. Yeah, I got the extreme, and then I have yeah. the uh, um, heavy hammer. Oh, heavy hammer. Okay. The, top the next uh, next sound I'm getting ready to go to is the raw sound. Oh, the raw sound. Yes. That's the new I'm series, to, right? I'm, they have now. I haven't tried. I haven't tr tried the, the raw sound. I'm, what I'm I'm thinking about doing is mixing uh, the raw sound with something else. Right. The 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 more raw and dry uh, style of uh, sounding, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to do something like that. Uh, sure. Like uh, either the raw with the heavy hammer or something like that. Um, at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um. And um, make it happen like that, right? Um, how uh, are you uh, with click tracks, my brother? Well, click tracks, uh, I use it all the time when I'm doing like uh, club scenes or when I'm doing uh, live shows. Uh, well, I use a. Uh, previously, I was uh, yeah, I've been with the Roland SPDSX for almost six years. Uh, but last year uh, things went a bit different. I have to let it go. Then, uh, then I got uh, LS6 sent me a, 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 a new uh, drum machine, the LS6 Strike Multi Pad. Right, uh, to I got try you. on and yeah, I have and, that. Uh, is, yeah. Is it, how does it work for you, dude? It's one of the you, most you have, beautiful you, machines. I have my uh, the, I put my my uh, symbols at the top. And in the six pads, I just uh, have like the drums, um, uh -huh. the toms at the top, um, and then the the, the 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 snare drum at the the left side, and then right. I have like the um, the bass in the middle, uh -huh. and then uh, basically at the end, I just have that for extra. Right. If I want to put like a, a congo or something uh, like that. Or something. Yeah. Right. Yes. Well, on my setup on uh, LCs, I use the, the 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 chime is always on my on my extreme right. I always keep a chime, and then uh, the click track. Uh, I connected the two pads together that you can start on the click and then uh, it will connect on the sequence on the second pad. I I chain uh, connected them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then. Uh, the claps, uh, the claps, and the snaps on the on the on the on the extreme top uh, beside the chime, you know. Right. Yeah, and then I got a bass drop uh, on the third on the basically on the first pad. So the first, second, third on the top. Uh, the first will be uh, the the snap. The second will be the clap, and the third will be the chime. Uh, then the lowest on the left will be my kick, the 808 kick or something. And then, uh, but 
so, but I, but I don't use uh, what do you call it. I don't use them like a full-on drum. It's like an extension uh, kit for me to have like the snaps and the claps and the chimes and the bass drops with the backing track. If I'm going to use exactly. it, exactly. Yeah. So, but um, it's a very beautiful uh, machine. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. not speaking bad about any other product, but uh, experience of using six years of uh, SPDSX. You're talking about uh-huh. the touch, man. Alice's is a winner, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a straightforward it, it is, winner, yeah. It, it is a, a, a good uh, brand. I, I really like it myself. I really like yeah, it myself. Correct. Yes. Um, do yes. you have any uh, types of um, uh, other types of music that you listen to besides um, the Indian music, bro? Oh well, bro. I listen to a lot uh, to lots of gospel music. I love. Uh, you know, uh, well, I listen. I mean, I started with listening to a lot of Ron Kenoli, man. <laughs> wow. Yes, I listened to a lot of Ron Kenoli because of uh, Bram Laboreal and uh, Alex Akuna was among my biggest, uh, you know, influences in music. And, uh, well, bro, honestly, I listen to a lot of black music, brother. I love Robert Glasper. I listen, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I, I have a, you know, I have a, a, a very personal connection with with him in music. You know, I love just how he moves, and you know, things that he thinks of his head. You know, so, uh, well, uh, I've met a lot of uh, musicians, man. Like even like Robert Glasper and everything. They have came over mm-hmm. to to Indonesia. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's there's a festival in Indonesia. They call it the Jawa Jazz Festival. It's one of the biggest jazz festival in the world. You're talking about two hundred and fifty thousand people. Two hundred fifty thousand people. Two hundred fifty thousand people with twelve different stage. You know, so okay. so I've met everyone like like as as close as like twenty to thirty meet. Uh, maybe no, maybe five meters, man, in range. In maybe or maybe three meters, bro. I've met them like. You know, I've met Neo, I've met Chikoria, I've met Defek, <laughs> I've met so many of them. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, man, that's awesome. Yes. How man. big is your kit? Did, 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 did I ask you that? How big is your kit, my brother? You mean my drum kit? Yeah, your drum kit. All right. Well, uh, I've kept it very simple, uh in the sense of uh, well, I start I start with the bigger toms, so I got the twelve, and then I go to the ten, and then a fourteen on the floor, twenty on the cake, uh, my snare. It's either fourteen or thirteen on my on my main snare, and I have a twelve or thirteen on my side snare. Then, um, well, a couple of splashes, like uh, two or three splashes of bell, and then there's a twelve crash on my left hand side and then uh, there's a 16 crash on my left hand side as well and on my right i've i've uh, i've uh, i've two splashes here i have a 21 uh, inch right with a big uh, crash just right on top of the symbols and then i have a 15 inch uh, crash here you're talking about a 12 piece symbol <laughs> Uh, on a on a five piece uh, drum kit, it's it's uh, pretty standardized because I do a lot of because uh, I can use a lot of toms because I have always my electronic machine with me, and then uh, I'll be having my tablas uh, as my extension on my left hand side. So yeah, so I try to keep it more uh, minimal, intimate, and closer. You know. Um, yes. Yes. This yes, one question I I gotta ask. Yes, man. Do you lend your equipment out? Do I? Do you lend your equipment out? Do you let people use your equipment? Uh, well, brother, being honest, well, I do. Uh, be, you know, I mean, I, everything that this started to me uh, started on me. Uh, you know, I, I, I came to, I, I came as a musician to Kuala Lumpur with just a pair of uh, drumsticks and a pair of hi hat. So, you know, I wow. always appreciate, yeah, I really appreciate those who have uh, inspired me and uh, those those people who have made me, uh, 
you know, to invest and to have the love of uh, owning and having and listening and, you know, to explore and stuff. So, uh, well, uh, at now, you know, at the ratio now, it's very different because not many people want to own something. You know, so when at times when you have it and when they see that you you know that you own a drum kit or own symbols or hey, you know i i really love that sound you know i'll be like hey you know why don't you have a you know have a have a have a, have a try on it you know you know and uh, and yes man but uh of course there's there's a lot of uh, <laughs> pro and cons that have happened i have people who taken my snare and never written back you know i have people who taken wow. my symbols and just went disappearing you know and so right. well but um I yeah, mean, I'm quite open on, you know, I will be like, hey, you love this drum? Hey, man, just take it and go back to your place. Bash it for a week, then I'll come and pick it up. You know, I'm that person, right? <laughs> That's understandable. Yeah. What do That's you have what... to say to the world positive as we can man, be ready to uh, close? Yeah, okay. I, I, well, you know, um, to all the musicians and to all the artists, to all the people uh, that is involved in uh, the art industries, you know, you guys, uh, you guys are solid. You guys are really strong. You know, uh, the, uh, throughout the pandemic, uh, you know, it could be good and bad that that happened. So many people have lost their lives. So many people have lost their loved ones. You know, trust me, trust me, it is coming back in tenfolds. It's going to be good. It's, it is going to be great. Uh, keep the music of, uh, played in your honesty. You know, love, uh, love, live, and uh, and uh, respect each other's art. And uh, you are not in a wrong industry. You are not in a wrong place. You are the right, beautiful place. Uh, we are people who the world needs us. We are healers. And uh, and we are motivators, you know. We heal, uh, we heal everything. We heal pain. We heal without even knowing, you know. So, thank you for being you, and you do you great, and uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Yes, man. Yes, sir. I really appreciate that. But um, really appreciate it's, yeah, it's, it's not me, bro. Uh, bro it's, it's it's God. It's all yeah, I it's God. Yeah, yeah. And, and um, uh. Describe yourself in 50 words. This is the last question. Okay. Des describe yourself. Describe myself. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm, uh, well, uh, I'm fun. I'm easygoing. I love, uh, I love art. I love sound. Um, I love technology. Uh, I like to talk. I'm talkative. Uh, I like to, well, I like to chat. I like to, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, so actually, but uh, you know, I love to talk to people. I love to hear what they have to say. I'm a good listener. Um, I love to explore. I'm not, I'm not afraid to, to lose, you know. Um, I love to help uh, and, uh, I don't know how to say. I don't know. I don't think so. I've completed the fifty words, but yeah, man. It's pretty, uh, but that's I'm a pretty much simple, fun person uh, personality, man. That's understandable. Do you have any um, like um, platforms that they can reach you at, my brother? Oh yes. Uh, please reach me at my Instagram. So Stan Kelvin, that is my name. So if you go to Stan Kelvin, so the spelling will be S T A N. And my second name is Kelvin. Is C A L V I N. You can see a lot of stuff that will be linked to my musician page. My musician page is Stan Connections. That is Stan again S T A N K O N N E X I O N S. So uh, the, by the the same band page Stan Connections. You can find me on YouTube. I got a YouTube channel. Also, you can find me on my SoundCloud channel. That is Stan Connections. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, my social media that I have. I have Facebook, even if you want to go on Facebook, you know. So Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, on my music, SoundCloud. And uh, yeah, that is about, uh, that is my social media. Awesome. Yeah. Um, 
I would like to thank uh, David, um, thank David Rogers for my music and being my oh, podcast beautiful. partner. Yeah. And I would like to thank um, Jerry Rose, live Jerry Rose. positive thank power, uh, twenty um, one, Christian Media LLC for being my accountability manager. Thank Scott Harold for, Harold for showing me how to do this project well. Next week, we will be um, with Derek Edwards. He would be, uh, he's a dynamic uh, percussionist, drummer. Beautiful. He's going to be on next week on the podcast, Musicians Matters. Derek Edwards. Look him up. All right. Words of encouragement. Um, breathe. All breathe. things. Uh, believeth all things, hope all things, endure all things. First Corinthians 13 and 7. Be blessed Amen. and have a blessed day. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. All right. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.